Perk set and ready. The 2-2 offering. Got him on a curveball. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Bernal for the final out of the inning. For BYU, no runs on a hit. They leave a man. We have played a half inning from Lufton Stadium with a score. BYU, pitch. nothing. 1-1 one, one pitch to Pena. Lined down the left field line. Fair ball. This one's going to get into the corner. Painter around first on his way to second. He'll make it standing up. I think Jerome Pena may like this leadoff spot thing. I was going to say he's really embraced it both well, last night and... Maybe even harder than it is today. And Austin Adams. As this ball is smashed in the left field on the ground. Base hit. Coming home and scoring from third is Pena to make it a one nothing TCU lead. Well, Jason Coates does what he's been doing. Son of Vern Law, who was the 1962 Cy Young Award winner for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Frampton. That's the second strikeout. And Coach lines it towards left center field. It's going to get down and score at least one as... Pena scores from second to make it a two-to-one game and a double for Jason Coates. Great piece. Even though the wind is really howling, Curry hammers this one to deep right center field. The wind knocks it down, but nobody's going to get it. Two runs are going to score. Curry heading for second. He's safe with a double, and it's now four-to-one TCU. On a windless day, that ball's on the hill. Last inning, BYU now 26 of 38. The 1 2 swung on and missed as it was tipped into the glove of Brian Holiday. And Alex Wolf goes down on strikes for the second out of the inning. Last year, due to weather, but today going to try to get in all three this weekend. This one roped into right center field by Featherston over quickly as Clough picks it up and it will hold Taylor Featherston to a base hit. Playing very close to the first base line. The one-two. Breaking ball roped back up the middle. It's going to get down for a base hit. Rounding third and coming home is Featherston. He'll be in standing up, and TCU leads it 5-1. to one. Lead over at first base being held on by Frampton. The pitch comes home, and it's hit deep into right center field. It's going to get down as Wells goes over to retrieve it. Rounding third and heading for home is Rivera, and there'll be no throw as Rivera in standing up, and TCU... Up now, six to one. The one one from Neal. Hit deep into left field, going back is McNaughton looking up, and it's gone. A home run for Josh Elander, his first of the season, and TCU now up seven to one. Chuck mentioned it at the top of the broadcast. It was going to be hard to take one out today, but Elander ropes one to left field. McNaughton had no play on it that it gets over the wall. And as I said, Josh Elander, who has been hitting the ball well all season, finally gets his first home run. Being held on. Hardesty works from the stretch, comes home. This one into right center field, gets down for a base hit. One run will score. Two runs will score, and TCU now up 9-1. to one. So Brantz Rivera comes through again, this time with two outs, as he singles one to right field, bringing in two runs. His third run batted in this game, and... Strike away from taking the first two of this three-game series from BYU. Marshall set and ready. Here's the pitch. Strike three called. Ball game over. McNaughton strikes out to end the game for BYU. No runs a hit. One, Nobody left on base. We'll take a two-minute timeout. Come back.